There's a happy sight. Can you help us get the gate open? Almost didn't recognize you, Jesus. Once I got in contact with my people, I headed right back. Had to make sure you folks were safe. I think I'm getting the hang of this. We'll keep the muertos away. Just get me to the gate so I can open it up. I got your back, Javi. Get in the busket, and I'll lift you to the top of the gate! Busket? The thing in the front! The scooper thing! Whatever! Get in it! I'll keep them off you! Yuck! Javi! The busket! Right! Yeah, busket! I see you folks who drop by! Open gate button. Okay, never pull that lever again, Javier. You did it, Javi! Bingo. Let's get inside and wrangle the walkers together. If we get them in one group, we can lead them right out. Steam ahead.
Let's get out of here. Jesus, over here. We need to round up these walkers. Head them towards the gate. Welcome back. I thought we were coming back to, uh, well, not to this. It's just a little surprising, that's all. I'm just glad you didn't give up on us. Real glad. I gave you my word. Javi, we have to go after Gabe. These guys can take care of the rest of the walkers. Go, Javi. I'll help out here. Okay. Let's go, Clem. Javi, until they, <coughs> but I couldn't, there were so many, I fucked up, after everything you taught me, oh, it really hurts. You didn't fuck anything up, buddy, you fought as hard as you could, I'm proud of you. I tried, I really did. I know. Do me a favor, Glenn. Gabe, no. Take my cards. What? My playing cards. Grab them. Teach AJ Euchre. Okay? Okay. Be strong, Gabe. For whatever comes next. I will. You'd better. Bye, Gabe. Bye, Glenn. G give me your gun, Javi. <coughs> I don't want it turned into a muerto. Gabe. Gabe, I don't know if I can let you do that to yourself. And I can't make you guys do it for me. Just give me the gun. Hurry. Hurry. You, you have to hurry. No. No game. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. You may not. Father, Javi, but you are a great dad. I, I, I love you, Javi. I love you too, buddy.
I'm glad you helped me, Javi. But I can't stop wondering how things might be different if you hadn't. Maybe Gabe wouldn't be with Mariana right now. They deserved better, Javi. Better than us. Gabe. Mariana. They were my responsibility. They're dead because of me. We're all to blame. Not just you. Usually the quiet scares me. What about now? There's a lot of work to be done. The herd could come back. Still, though, I feel more calm here than... than I ever did in an old van on streets with no streetlights. We earned this, Javi. We earned feeling calm in the quiet. Let's start a family. You and me. A fresh start. What do you say? You're on. Let's start a family. You don't think it's selfish? It's not the safest world outside of Richmond. Or inside it, truth be told. So long as I got you, I'm not too worried about it. <sighs> we'll be up there before we know it. Better do something worthwhile in the meantime. Heading out? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. We could use you around here. Please stay. We got other people depending on us, Javi. Just the way it is. I was worried about you, Javi. About who you are inside. You helped save these people, though. That goes a long way for me. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be, if you let it. Trust me, though, life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the right thing. Always. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should for the better. God knows this town could use it. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. You're alive. Don't remind me. I'm not gonna say thank you for keeping me alive, but I'm gonna try and find something out there that might make me say thank you. Someday. So where's AJ? Tell me. Where? You know Clem won't rest until she finds AJ. Where is he? Please, man. For her sake. He's at McCarroll Ranch. It's not too far from here. That's... That's where we left him, at least. Thank you. Good luck out there, Doctor. So you're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. I have to find AJ, Javi. I've waited so long. 
But could you do me one last favor before I leave? to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Were you? Not your business. I have to see AJ Javi. I have to see that he's okay. Do you think he remembers me? At least a little? I don't know. When they're that young, they're not exactly known for their memory skills. More drooling and pooping. He did do a lot of both of those. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. I can't stop thinking about it. It's not about good or not good. You kept him alive. You did your job. until someone else had to do it for me. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? You get back out there and find something better. There may not be something better out there. You won't know until you step outside. All done. Well, how's it look? You know what? I'll grab your hat. <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. Bring him back. you, AJ. 